this video I'll do a uh, do a walk around on our 71 LT1 uh, and then I'll uh, I'll get the car pulled inside and uh, open up the engine compartment and the interior so at least you can see the car from a video perspective above and beyond all the photographs that, uh, that document the condition and authenticity of the car uh, as mentioned as you know 71 LT1 uh, all born with drivetrain factory red on red car car has its original protecto plate dealer invoice added to that the car has uh, affirmation or validation from CCAS otherwise known as Al Grenning on both the engine cylinder case as well as the trim tag car retains all its original body panels most all of its original paint of course that having been said then we know it's all lacquer there's one spot in the car that got bumped and what it is you see it in the left rear here right there and there is a picture in the gallery that shows just a little bit of glass work from the back side other than that this car is unhit it is a beautiful body nice detectable seams like an original car should have there are a few defects here and there you know, I showed this in the gallery. Also noted in the description, the windshield has been replaced in this car. It was replaced with an aftermarket windshield. Again, I'll get it inside. Uh, I realize uh, the glare from the sunlight uh, kind of overtakes uh, what you can see. But just a lovely original car. And of course, to find one of these in red on red. You know, oftentimes you find a red car, they're black. Interior, I should say. Car retains its original TC T3 headlight bulbs. You can see from the gallery the way the chassis in the car appears, which is just beautiful. Kentucky car, originally delivered to VV Cook. Noted high performance dealer. Of course, obviously, the door buzzer works. That'll drive you nuts. All right, I'll get this inside and get it uh, get it opened up. I'll open up, uh, open the car up. Show you the interior. Original seats, original carpets, door panels. There's a dash pad. When I rebuilt the clock, naturally I had the right side dash pad or yeah, dash pad out of it. The windshield frame in the car is beautiful. Always, a, always an item of concern in these C3 cars. Pop the hood while I'm in here.
One thing on these old lacquer Corvettes, or any lacquer car for that matter, the conversation of lacquer checking comes up. This car is no exception. Not, uh, it's not bad at all. I'm not sure if uh, this here is picking it up, but for the sake of being honest and transparent, uh, this car does have some lacquer checking. And quite frankly, most every Corvette with original paint will. That car is no exception. And this car is no exception. And this is a 9,000 mile car. So, enough on that. As you see in the gallery, the car has all its original dated components. Starter, alternator, carburetor, fan clutch, distributor, smog pump, on and on and on. Radiator. Original LT1 hood stripes. For those who are students of the C3s and the LT1s, you know what you're looking for, you know what you're looking at in terms of the defects, as these are hand-painted stripes. As mentioned in the in the previous uh, segment of the video, as well as a description, uh, Al Grenning or CCAS has validated the engine case and also the trim tag in this car. Certainly, being a red red car always falls under a certain amount of scrutiny and speculation. Those are the original dated T-top bags. I should try and sneak this out of here, but doing it one-handed isn't... Uh... There we go. Original dated jack. There's the date on the bottom of the tray. Original shim bag with the shims. The correct reproduction Delco battery with the vent caps and vent tubes. Now, one item of note, the true C3 guys will know this, not everybody will, so for the sake of showing you, for the casual Corvette enthusiast, this window actually comes out. Let's see if I can do this without dropping it. So. Kind of the best of both worlds in my opinion. If a person wants a convertible, well this gives you the full convertible experience with the tops off and the window out. And a coupe will always be a tighter car than a convertible could ever hope to be. All in all it's just a, it's a wonderful car. Very original car. 
those who know me know this is what I hang my hat on. I am an original car guy. Survivors, bow tie, you name it. They're the most honest cars. And truth of the matter being, if I did not have that car, I would not be offering this car. It's that good. Okay, that's it for this uh, this video. Thank you much. I appreciate it.